Hello everyone. In the last class, we have discussed about uh, apply the color to the out, right? In today's class, we will discuss uh, a few more uh, things in groups. So I will create a uh, sample a program. <clears throat> Here I am uh, displaying something sales information and something uh, billing information. Okay, both uh, uh, I need to display in a single stream. Okay, so for the first time uh, I will work out on uh, sales information. Then I will come to uh, uh, billing. Okay, so fine now. Uh, Check test something. The customer call. I will declare the objects uh, for custom container and a grid display. Uh, data for is a uh, custom container for uh, SO. Okay. And type reference to CLGY custom container. And OB is a, uh, this is for grid display. And this is for sales information. And type ref to CL GUI ALV grid. Okay. Right now, um, I will declare the field catalogs also here only. Uh, LT underscore FCAT underscore SO. Okay. Type. LBC underscore T underscore F cat and LSF cat underscore SO type uh, LBC underscore S underscore F cat. Let me check the structure is there or not. It's available. Fine. Okay. Uh, declaration part is okay. And uh, I will come to the uh, data sales information, right? So types begin of T Y underscore S O I'm just taking uh, four fields only. Okay, so here I will uh, LD SO type table of T V underscore SO and LS SO type T V underscore SO. Okay. These all are related to sales information. For billing, I will come back here. Okay. Now, I will uh, call the screen. Call screen. The screen number one, two, three. Okay. Now, I will double click on the screen number. Okay. This is for SO screen. Okay. And coming to the, this is the main screen only, normal screen only. And then click on the layout button. And here we need to drag and drop the custom control, right? So one minute, I will expand this one. So Okay. And for this one, I'm giving the name as custom container. And this is for 
sales order information, right? CCSO I'm giving here. Find now, click on uh, flow logic here once again. And now, here, the PBO, we need to add the back button functionality. We already uh, discussed about this one. Okay. So set PF status. We already discussed in our previous classes. So I'm giving something status name as that one. And save it and double click on it. Save it. And these were. And here, back button functionality, I need to enable it and save and activate it. It's activated, now come back. And once again, come back and the PAI, if I click on the back button, then I, I mean, uh, the screen should go to the previous screen, right? So if you click on back button, then PAI event will trigger. So I'm implementing the logic here. You say you come is equal to back. Leave program. End if. So as of now, uh, I'm taking only one screen. If I click on the back button, it should come to the program. Okay. So that is why I'm taking here leave program. Otherwise, we need to take here leave to screen zero. If we are in the third screen, if you click on the back button, it should come to the second screen. Then leave to screen zero, we need to use here. Fine now. Click on back button, right? The PBO. Here we need to display the data, right? So by default, whenever I click an execute button, so at the time uh, it will display the data, right? So at the time it will come to the PBO and it will pick the data and it will display the data. Right now, I will write the select query select VBELN. Uh, Post now. Matter can be a means. Here I'm considering only 100 records, yeah. not much. Otherwise, we need to queue something. Select options, input screen, these all things, but I'm not going to that one. I'm just giving 100, I'm just picking 100 records. From VBAP, fine, this is okay. Data is fetching here. And now I will fill a field catalog. Okay. So how to fill a field catalog here? ls f cat underscore so i think so let me check the work area ls f cat so correct only and here the uh, field name field name is vbeln and ls f cat s column position is equal to one and ls f cat call text is equal to this is the so number append ls f cat to lt f cat f cat so right so here also so and clear ls f cat s4. Let me check the syntax. Is there any syntactical errors? Okay, ltvbap is unknown. Fine. Uh, let me check the internal table. Uh, ltso is the internal table name, but I have taken here ltvbap. So it is showing something error. Check it once again. No, there is an error. Fine. Now, so this is for the first field. In the same way, 
we need to do for the remaining three fields also. Okay, and this is a this is the post now. The line item number is true, and this is not S1 number, this is the item. And the third record is Matt now. And can be M E N Z, and this is the fourth position. Quantity. Fine. Fill the catalog also. I have filled. Now I will display the data. Right. So before the displaying the data, we need to create the object. So in the declaration part here, I am just declaring the objects, but I'm not creating any object, right? So I will create the object here. So how to call, how to create an object? Click on pattern button and select the ab ab objects patterns here. Click on enter button. Here I'm creating the object, okay? The object name is uh, obj underscore cc underscore so right and the class name is clgy custom container so let me cross check so the object name is obj cc so and in the here also obj cc so fine and here And here, uh, there is a custom container name, right? I forgot it. CC underscore something as well is there. Let me check it once again. So CC underscore S O is the custom control name, and uh, let me come back. So here I'm providing that names. So don't, I mean, don't forget to give the name in the capital letters, okay? Otherwise it will not accept it here. Fine, the, I'm creating an object per custom container and I need to create uh, one more object per grid display. So CL grid display, CLG by ALB grid, right? And now the parent is OBJ uh, custom container SO information. So there's the object name, parent object name. Fine. I am creating the objects, right? Now after that one, I need to display the data. Right, so I will click on pattern once again, select the ABAP objects pattern here and I'm calling the method, okay. The instance name is obj gdso and the class name is clgui alb grid and set table for First display, click on enter and here, the field cat name Fill catalog name is ltfcat underscore s4 and the internal table name is ltsf4. Okay, now check it, activate it. It's activated. 
let me come back okay, activated on the end it's in, it is in active mode only i am executing it here okay now so the data is coming like this right so in the first half of screen the data is coming like this the second half screen i need to display something billing information right i will go for that one so before going that one here something standard um, icons are coming here right so this is a sort ascending order sort descending order this is the find find the next filter so these are all things right so if you want to disable this sort ascending okay then how can we do this one so click on back button Uh, I will open the class here. So how we are displaying the data? By using CL, GUI, LV grid, right? Just open the class here. SC24, uh, CL, GUI, LV grid only. And here, um, what is the method? Set table for pass display, right? So, Is tracked here one minute. One minute it is tracked here. It's not coming. Okay. And set table for fast display. Um, where is it? Where is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is a method. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. This is a method. So for this one, what are the uh, parameters? What are the parameters are available? You can see here also. While calling that method, we are exporting and changing parameters are there, right? So in the changing parameter, I am just passing the internal table of uh, the data what we are displaying under field catalog, right? And other than these things, we can see other options also, other parameters also, like something. Buffer active and bypass bypassing buffer. Okay, so these all things also are available, and we can. Uh, I mean, we we need to uh, uh, deactivate. Okay, deactivate the uh, ascending order symbol, right? So for that one, we can see here something like it toolbar excluding, right? So you can uncomment it here. Okay, I will pass something lt uh, toolbar. Okay, LT toolbar and this is exporting, just uncomment this exporting also. So as of now, I will remove all the things here. Fine, this is fine. But the LT toolbar, I have I have passed something uh, um uh, this one internal table, but I did not declare it here, right? I have to declare it and I need to fill the data to this internal table. So whatever the whatever the icons you don't want, okay. So those all things we need to pass to this internal table. Then, uh, uh, so by using this internal table, it toolbar excluding whatever we are passing the icon names here. So those icons will exclude from the uh, display list, okay. And now I will come back to the class here. So this is the set table for part display and click on parameters here. We can see. Uh, the toolbar, IT toolbar excluding, right? So we can copy the type UI function, something is there. Just copy this one and here I will declare it data LT uh, toolbar type this one. 
Okay, I will go to the declaration part and LS toolbar like line of LT toolbar. Click on Petty Printer, save it. Fine, I am declaring the internal table for the toolbar. Now I will fill the uh, uh, toolbar here. Okay, so LS toolbar. LS toolbar. But what is the structure here? I do. I did not see whatever the fields are there. I did not see right. So let me come back to this um, class method set table purpose display, and this is a parameter. Okay, set table purpose display. This is the method. This is the method. In this method, these are the parameters. So here, LT toolbar is excluding is there. So if you double click on this uh, type name here, so this is the table type. And it is containing something line type, U by underscore FUNC. If you double click on this one also, then this is the uh, data element, a domain. Data element is U by FUNC, and this is the character. Yes, we care 70 means 70 characters it will take here. Okay, so there is no field here. Okay, in the work area or in the internal table, there is no field directly. We can pass the value. So fine. In the program, we can mention like LTLS toolbar is equal to because in this structure there is no field, just it is declared like the data element. Okay, so I am just uh, using like LS toolbar itself, that's it. Is equal to, I need to pass the ascending order. Okay, ascending order tool button is there, right? So for that one, what SAP is doing here? So click on methods once again, and this is the set table purpose display method, right? So SAP has given some constants, okay, for uh, adding uh, those type of, uh, I mean, in the, in the back end, SAP has designed the code like adding a, a icons, standard icons are coming, sorting, descending, ascending, filtering, and summation, this type of things are coming, right? So for those things, SAP uh, has provided some constraints here. See, click on attributes, and here, directly I'm going to there, because I already checked this one, so directly I'm going to there here. See here something sort ascending MC FC sort ascending MC FC sort descending and subtotal sum. So these all things. Okay. So just copy this one. MC FC sort ascending. You can ask the question like, so why you are taking this one only here? Okay. So why can't we take any other things? So if you debug this one, if you debug the program, okay, the I mean the standard program then we can get to know what type of things they are passing okay so those are things i am not uh, uh showing it here okay so in the back end they have provided to the internal table uh to add ascending order descending order icons by using these things so i am just copying this name here and pass it here append ls toolbar to lt toolbar now check it activate it something problem fine i'm just directly passing this one right the constant i'm directly passing but how can the system can get to know this is a constant like that okay so here the class name also copy here and now you can I'm using like this class name and by using this class name, I am calling the uh, constant, okay? Either it is constant or method or variable, whatever it is, we can call like this. Okay, and if we have something doors, we can see the description, sort in ascending order, sort in descending order. So by using some descriptions also, we can find out, okay? 
and uh, here i mean uh, the value is there right sort and ac sort and dsc is there the value this is the constant you can see the constant here so this is a constant name but the value is this one sort asc so this value will pass to the internal table okay so if you want to enable the uh, sort ascending descending like that so same thing i am passing this one to uh, excluding excluding means it will remove that one it will remove that option from uh, display list okay now check it and activate it it's activated i am clicking an execute button we can see this sorting ascending is not available only descending is there right only descending order now i want to uh, disable the descending order also okay so i will go to the class and constants i will i will check this one descending order so sort in descending order right i will copy that constant name here and i will paste it here activate the program once again click on execute button now we can see that uh, ascending and ascending and descending both are in disable we cannot able to see those things here okay fine now i will add some billing information in the second half screen right so let me come back and uh, this is a call screen right just double click on the call screen here and click on the layout we need to design something here i will reduce it a bit okay now i will take one more custom control and this is for billing This is the custom control for billing. Okay, now click on Pro logic and in the PBO itself. Okay, the PBO itself. Um, Okay. Till now, this is the sales information, right? I will go for uh, billing information. So first of all, I need to declare the objects, right? So data, OBJ, or I will go the, I mean, uh, the declaration part, I am doing the starting of the program. So what I will do, I will take it here and paste it here. Okay, this is a custom container. And this is for billing and the alb grid and this is for so and one more thing is billing okay how many screens i mean how many i mean in a single screen you are displaying the sales information and billing information right so uh, we have to declare so those all uh, objects here okay those all objects here and so Build catalog also, and this is for building. The build catalog work area also for building. And uh, here LTS. So internal table, I am not declaring it here. I will let you know what I am doing here. Fine. Declaration part is okay. I will come back here. So first of all, I will uh, create the object. Okay. So how to create? Click on pattern button. This is for custom container and billing. This is for custom container. Okay. So the custom container, the custom control name we have given like CC underscore bill. So where I have given this one? No. Uh, I will show you once again. So click on back and the layout. 
double click on this one we can see this one cc underscore bill okay now click on flow logic and click on back button or double click on this module and okay now this is for a custom container and for grid display so one more object we need to create here cl obj underscore this is a grid display okay grid display and what is the parent object here parent object is obj underscore cc underscore build okay. and remove it okay fine uh, just creating the object but i am not uh, declaring any internal table and i am not fetching any data here right i will uh, fetch it now so select query um, select bpeln and post now and AUBL, AUPOS, and from VBRP For all entries in LTVBAP or AB, uh, sorry, VBS4, LTS4, where So what I'm doing here, so building information, right? So building information will be available in VBRP table, but uh, how can we link the VBRP and VBAP? Okay, the linking fields are the AUBEL and AUPYS. Okay, in VBRP, we can see AUBEL and AUPYS. So AUBEL is nothing but sales order number and AUPYS is nothing but sales order item number. Okay, and Fine. And AUBL is the uh, sales order number or S1 number. And this is the SO item. Okay. And uh, here VBELN, this is the billing number. Okay. And this is the post now. This is the billing item number. Now, uh, fine. I will fill the field catalog now. So the field catalog name is ls fcat bill. I find field name is equal to um, bbln. ls fcat bill I find column position is equal to 1 ls f cat all text is equal to oh oh i did not save it i think so
वन मिनट गए Uh, sorry guys, because of some uh, server issue, I have stopped it here. So, so let me do it a bit uh, quickly. Uh, that is not saved previously. So, uh, the create object for create this paper building. So the parent is um, OBZ custom container build. Okay, and now I want to display the data, but uh, before the display the data, I need to fetch the data, right, for billing information. So I think I said very select BBLN post now AUBEL AUPOS FKIMG from BBRP input table at the rate uh, data of LT BBRP. Okay, and for all entries in LTSO where uh, AUBL is equal to LTSO VBLN and AUBOS is equal to LTSO post now. Okay, and now let me check it. Is there any tactical error? No, fine. Uh, here AUBL is nothing but sales order number, and this is the sales order for sales order item number. And the BBEL is nothing but is the billing number. Okay, now I will fill the field catalog. So LS F cat. Bill hyphen field name is equal to BBLN and LSF LSF cat is the billing information, right? Alum position is equal to one. And LSF cat will our text is equal to a billing number. Append LSF cat to LT F cat bill. And clear LSF cat. Check it. Fine. Uh, now I will fill the uh, data for other uh, columns. So VBELN and this is post now. This is the second position. And it is the billing item. And this is the AUBL. This is the third position. And this is the 
eso. If the way yes. this is the fourth position, neither. And next one is the FKIMZ. This is in fifth position, and this is a billing quantity, right? Now I will uh, display the data by using the set table for pass display method. My class name is CLWILVGRID. And the method name is set table for first display. Okay. And here, uh, LT will be RP. This is LT FCAT bill. Save it and check it, activate it. Now I am executing this one. So what is happening? So click on back button. It is not activated. So once again, come here, right click on it and activate it. Now click on execute button. Now it is coming here. Okay. So because of some activation issue, it was not coming at that time. So here uh, we can see the sales document number something 38 and we can see here also 38. Let me do one thing. I will uh, sorting. I will. There is a sorting option. The sorting. Yeah, this is a sorting, right? So I will comment this uh, sorting, then activate it, execute it once again. Now we can see something nine algorithms nine. So let me do the. I think something data issue here or one minute, yes. Here, sales order number is this one. Mm -hmm. 
I will cross check the data first of all. So slash for C11. So VBAP first of all. So let me go here and check the data. I think server is a bit slow here. So it is coming like this. Okay, one record is coming. Okay, now uh, I will go for uh, VBRP also slash for SC11 VBRP. Click on execute button, says document number right. And here choose field, sorry. Sales document AVL and enter fine. Click on execute button. Okay, so here what is happening for only one sales order, it is containing four, four uh, deliveries. Four times it has delivered here. Okay, maybe the quantity issue. Uh, FK MG one 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 only. I mean one one quantity only they are delivering here, and coming to the uh, here. Uh, where the KW means here. Mm, I can, we can see uh, KWMENG, what is the quantity? I don't want all fields here. I will select the VBELN, post now, map now, and KWMENG. Play, click on execute. So one quantity is coming, but in the delivery, they are doing the four times, but the quantity is only one one time they are doing. I think this is the dummy data. That is why it is coming like this. Okay. So the data is there, but it is not coming. I mean, uh, invalid data. Actually, for sales order, only one order they are order. I mean, sales order quantity, one only one quantity is there. But for the delivery, for the delivery or for billing, okay, four times they are doing billing, okay. Each time they are doing with one one quantity, okay, some uh, mismatch data. So because of some uh, dummy data, so it is coming like this, okay. So the concept you understood right. How to display the data? I mean, splitting the data in the two uh, screens, the single screen only. Dividing the screen into two parts. In the first part, I am displaying something sales, and the second part, I am displaying something billing. Okay, so this is the concept. The data is something uh, mismatch. Okay, that is okay. Fine, no issue because of some uh, dummy data it is coming like this. Okay, fine, and uh, we will go with uh, some more concepts in books, but uh, it will take some time. Uh, I am not getting some. Uh, of free time so if i get something free time then i will uh, try to upload videos okay and a lot of guys are asking the uh i mean uh, i want material like the notes like that okay so you can go to youtube and search for 
okay search for a uh, channel and go for about okay and here you can see the links so this is the sap abap notes and this is abap and hana notes okay i will try to upload uh ovo abap notes also okay once it is ready then i will upload this one here not only this one so whatever i am taking the classes so yeah uh, uh, i'm planning to take over data next okay so after completion of over data post then i will add the notes link here you can download whatever whatever the courses i have explained so those notes you can uh, get from here okay the about tab you can get it here. okay then bye jahin